Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Very happy to see all of you. Looking out, I know we have a very serious and extremely knowledgeable crowd on um, the issue of the AIDS pandemic and the challenges that it's brought to, to the world. Um, I want to make just a few key points um, by way of introduction to Mead's very important book. Uh, the first is that, as you are all very well aware, there's been a huge surge in donor financing for HIV AIDS treatment over the past decade. And that has saved millions of lives. There's certainly no question about that. It is an amazing achievement. And I think since we're here in Washington, it's worth saying that the United States has played a very important role in realizing that achievement, along with many other donors, and of course, along with uh, the, the budgets, the co commitment of uh, policymakers and leaders in the developing world. Um, I, th I know from Hillary Clinton's speech that I'm sure many of you who follow this issue are well aware of that it's a little bit of a new moment right now in the HIV AIDS community. There is a sense that we might be at the beginning of the end of the pandemic. To me, it's a little bit like maybe are we at the moment when what seemed like an impossible task actually attracted more resources and more genius when President Kennedy said, we're going to go to the moon. So it's that kind of moment. So it's a great moment to have uh, Mead's book appear. The fact is that the number of people living with AIDS, even as we think about the incredible achievements so many people's lives saved and made better, still the number of people living with AIDS and therefore the number of people needing treatment is growing faster than the funding that is needed to treat them. And that's essentially the dilemma that Mead deals with in this uh, new book. I'd like to just say a couple of things about the new book that I like, two things that I like. First, Mead calls attention to prevention. I think that may not seem new, but when Mead started this work, it was still new, even as the enthusiasm for treatment was gaining a lot of momentum because of the falling price of ARVs. Um, he also calls attention to how little we know about how to do prevention in specific places, what works where. Second, he calls attention to the role of incentives for governments in the developing world uh, in a very, to, to uh, increase attention to prevention while taking into account the demand for treatment. And he does that in a very uh, thoughtful and careful way. And those of you who know my own work and my interest in cash on delivery aid and paying for performance will appreciate that I like the way Mead picked up on that idea and treats it in a very careful and thoughtful way, including the trade-offs, how to deal with the reality that there might be a trade-off between uh, treatment and prevention, at least in the short run. I just want to say in, in, in this crowd that I am thinking back right now to the issues meeting we held on Mead's book. Well, it's probably over a year ago, if not a little bit more. And for those of you who knew Phil Musgrove to say, Phil liked those two things about this book. The focus on prevention as something that needed much more attention, and the focus on incentives carefully designed and thoughtfully applied to make, uh, to make something better happen for more people in the world. Now let me say a word about Mead. Many of you will know him from his uh, now several decades of work on HIV AIDS. Uh, Mead is a senior fellow at the Center for Global Development. He came from the World Bank where he worked on this issue for many years. I sort of like it when Mead tells the story, where are you, Mead? That I got him to come. 
right, <laughs> a long time ago, to the World Bank at a time when the World Bank wasn't really that, as an institution, wasn't quite ready to cope with the reality that the AIDS uh, problem might be a big one um, and create big demands in terms of money. But Mead came and he really drove, along with several others, of course, at the World Bank, uh, a lot of the changes that we saw there over the last now two decades almost. Meade taught at Williams College and at Boston University. He was in the Peace Corps in Burkina Faso a long time ago. And the thing about Meade's teaching in those two places is that he tells me, I don't know, it seems as though every other day, oh, this person or that person who's doing good work in the field was a student of mine. So he leaves a legacy not only in his books and his own work, but in the training and the passion that he conveyed to many students. Mead, over to you. Thanks very much, Nancy. Thank you all for, for coming today to the launch of this book, which proposes a new perspective for the international struggle against the AIDS epidemic. I want to particularly thank the four panelists who've made space in their, in their busy schedules to come. David Wilson from the World Bank. Uh, where is David? There he is in the corner. Uh, Ambassador Jimmy Kolker, who has worked on AIDS at, the, at PEPFAR before moving on to UNICEF, where he headed the AIDS division. Laura Garrett, who's a celebrated author, Pulitzer Prize winning author. And Professor Ken Leonard, who has not worked specifically on AIDS, but works a lot on incentive issues in, in uh, developing country settings. Um, and you're, we're going to have a chance to hear them discuss the ideas in this book and anything else they have on their mind uh, after I finish in just a couple of minutes. 